Let me go on record and say that, um, you know, Carson Wentz is definitely a salvageable, savable um, quarterback. Um, you know, and there's rumor and speculation uh, it's pretty much that, that he will be traded, which, uh, again, in this uh, offseason here, it seems like uh, it's going to be a um, kind of... Um, for lack of a better word, uh, uh, musical chairs as far as quarterbacks. But to me, and then a lot of people saying Carson Wentz is, you know, he, he's done. Again, Carson Wentz, let me be perfectly, uh, make myself clear, is a savable quarterback. And listen, Hurts, Jalen Hurts, uh, looks uh, or did look ridiculous this year too. He had a 52% completion rating. Couldn't throw for a uh, couldn't throw for a second half touchdown, and had fumbling issues. Listen, I'm not comparing him to Wentz. We already know that Wentz looked like garbage this year, but he also looked good outside of this year. Hertz is the e is the easiest quarterback in the NFL to figure out right now. He's making the same mistakes that he made in college. Once his first read isn't there he takes off and runs because he can't read the coverages uh correctly his arm is sweet his arm is also weak right Wentz may overthrow some balls but hurts underthrow some balls and that's evident by his 52 percent completion rating in four full games and even two games where he threw for yards against the 32nd and 26th ranked passing defense. Look at Hertz's first four games and compare him to Wentz. And you're trying to, you know, make an argument here in Philadelphia that Hertz is the answer. Now listen, Wentz can't read coverages when the pocket is collapse, collapsing on his third step. Therefore, you have to roll him out. He wasn't getting calls to be able to roll out. He wasn't getting coached to stay in the pocket. And by the third step, it was already too late to roll out. Hertz was able to roll out because it was being called along with a ton of RPO. So before anyone starts saying that he can't read coverages, understand this. Up until this year, he wasn't even sacked nearly as many times. Dude played with 12 different offensive line combos. Next, look, his lower body could use some work. That being said, he does set his feet. His problem is not, not his feet. His problem is his release point. Uh, he's not coming from the top, but rather his arm is dropping on the release point. That's why he's overthrowing guys, which honestly isn't even that big of a deal because up until this year, he was a 60-plus guy on completion percentage. It's evident as to why his numbers went down this year. That team was built around uh, Deshaun Jackson, A.J., Ertz, staying on the field at the same time. They never even played more than a handful of games together over the last two years. That's 32 games, and those guys played four together. Four. So, Everyone needs to understand the picture before everyone tries to dissect a matter. I think Wentz has made guys better around him. He's made two practice squad guys household names and helped convert one of them from a quarterback to wide receiver. Who has led them in yards and receiving last two years? He doesn't have a number one wide receiver in Wentz. He literally has a project player as his number one. All of this is why Wentz is a savable quarterback. Listen, again, I'm not comparing both quarterbacks. Instead, I'm comparing their rookie years and the differences and how Hurts has been making the same mistakes since college. We all know, listen, that, and, and again, I'll be honest, we all know Wentz paid like crap.
Listen, Greg Ward. I'm taking credit for Greg Ward. Yes, I am. Listen, he wasn't even drafted as a wide receiver. He was UDFA, and that was converted. The work that Wentz put in with Ward made him the player that he is. Exactly the same reason why um, Fulham was the player he was, or at least think he is, based uh, based of uh, offering more than just this four-game streak he had. Wentz and the coaches are the one who helped both guys become household names. The problem is, you don't want to ever have to have to reach to your practice squad, guys. Give Wentz a number one like an Adams and Hill and MT, etc., and watch him succeed. You saw what he did with a healthy team and a healthy AJ. Now, if you trade him, well, that's on you and watch what happens. Up and beyond for Carson Wentz. Hope all is well.